So, all right, we're at the bottom of the hour. We're ready for our next presentation. Uh, this is going to be a team presentation uh, by Manish Desur and Tao Ta from Accenture, along with Alicia and Adi Widijuja. <laughs> I don't know how close I came <laughs> um, from USC, a student. Uh, and they're going to talk about uh, collaboration on GIS work um, from a project that uh, they worked on with the USC Spatial Sciences program and the county. So with that, I'll turn it over to you to take it away. Fantastic. Steve, thank you so much. And uh, good afternoon, team. And thank you for joining us in our talk today. My name is Manish Jassar. I'm a managing director at Accenture. I'm also joined by teammates from Accenture and USC, both Tao and Alicia, who you'll get a chance to hear from just in a few minutes. I thought we'd start today just by, thank you, thank you, Tao, for moving that. Yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled to be here and speak with you guys about geospatial, the role it's playing in the industry, and the collaborative project that Accenture, USC, and LA County partnered together on. And I think it's a great example of education, public, and private sector leaders working together to solve a challenge that's impactful to all of us and helpful to our SoCal citizens. And before I turn it over, Tao, if you could click uh, one, more, one more progression on the slide. Before I turn it over to the team to share the details of the work, I want to take a step back and just talk about how we're seeing the geospatial market evolve. It may have started as a map, but now, as you can see off from my slide here, geospatial is everywhere. We use it to navigate our communities, to make deliveries, to tack, track business critical assets, to manage our growing cities, targeting social ads, personalizing social results, and really to navigate this wonderful planet we all share. So it's, it's fantastic to see the evolution of this capability in the market and to see so many businesses, both private, public, and government, really start to take advantage of the capabilities that we're building here. And if you go to the next slide, Tao, Team, I thought it would be interesting for you guys to hear our point of view on the six business categories that we're seeing take real advantage of geospatial. First, we'll start with geospatial data and, and its advantages to shared mobility. Um, you can see geospatial data and decision-making are critical to ride, care, bike sharing. Research, research from Accenture has shown that customer feedback on ride sharing apps really emphasizes the importance of maps and navigations and other geospatial influence factors to drive customer satisfaction. The next one I'd probably talk about is autonomous vehicles. All of you, I'm sure, are seeing a huge surge in the amount of autonomous vehicles that we see out there. And you can, those are going to require high quality geospatial content and trained algorithms to navigate, follow the rules of the road, and anticipate a path that goes beyond the sensors, seeing huge growth for space, for this space driven by geospatial. Next, you know, in the world that we all live in, especially a world where we're mostly working from home and staying at home, delivery is becoming more and more critical for every business. So customer expectations are changing, shifting from two days to two hours, uh, and really getting such responsive delivery is gonna require very high efficient route optimizations across huge networks, accurate supply, demand, and traffic forecasting. And all of these factors really take what we need out of geospatial to a new dimension and a huge new level. I'll touch this quick on augmented reality. I just think it's a really a great and ultimate example of the hybrid of digital world and the real world coming together. It's gonna to require data that's integrated into immersive virtual reality, which requires really kind of photorealistic 3D models based on geospatial data. Uh, second to last, I'll touch on Internet of Things, um, series of devices that must handle a large amount of geospatial data and provide that data for analysis, interpretization, and visualization for consumer scenarios as well as government scenarios. And of course, location is core to that. And finally, you know, I'll come to kind of the point for this conversation and this program, the insights that can be gleaned from real world geospatial data analysis are practically unlimited. We're seeing it being applied to, uh, to forecast crop yields from changes in polar ice caps to changing in traffic flow patterns right here in Southern California. Just a perfect segue to the work that Tao and Alicia are gonna walk you through in a second. This team worked together to really address for locations in the LA County trail system that are significantly hard to locate without a geospatial system in place and how we could potentially solve for that and efficiently route emergency responders and other helps to those locations on a unmapped trail using geospatial navigation. 
I think that's truly exciting. Like I said, I think it's a great example of private, public education and government kind of working together to drive a problem and solve a problem that's uh, really impactful to our SoCal community. So I'm very proud of this work. Uh, with that, I'll turn it over to Tao to walk us through the details of the project and really the collaboration between USC, LA County and Accenture. Okay, thank you. So when USC, LA County and Accenture came together to answer the question of what can we do together to serve this community, we realized we had to ask ourselves additional questions to discover what is the true need. The question that ultimately led to the pilot project was how can we improve emergency response time on LA County hiking trails? One challenge is that there is a massive network of trails. It spans across multiple jurisdictions with different naming conventions. There's a variety of trails such as loops and shear sections, and there are different types of access points. This also requires an analytical solution that can be systematically applied to the entire LA County trail system. And so that is where we started with. From the needs assessment came the LA County USC Accenture Geospatial Analytics Pilot, which is a 15 week or one semester long pro bono student research project. Its aim is to create a addressing system for locations within LA County trail systems that can be used to locate issues and efficiently route responders to the correct location via multi-model transport, such as routing along the road network, to an optimal access point, and then continuing along the trail network. The key participants were LA County, which provided the infrastructure and the GIS database, USC, which provided the implementation team that consists of three GIS students, and Accenture, which did the project management. To give a high level overview of what the students accomplish, we want to share three different approaches that each student took to tackle the challenge. The first student worked on setting up the routing system to calculate the quickest pathway to the hiker. The idea is that the hiker is near a trail marker in which the dispatcher can look up its coordinates. And this system can determine which is the best combination of pathways to get to the hiker. And then one of the challenges were hiking trails with overlapping freeway ramps and intersections. So the second student worked on the data cleansing effort to better determine usable paths and access points. And then as far as the third approach, that's where our student Alicia, who is she here right now actually? <laughs> yes, I'm right here. Okay, um, you made it. Go ahead and, and take it away. As summed up before me, the purpose of this project was to optimize the way in which we approach emergency response on trail systems, to find a way to route to these non-traditional address points. Uh, my contribution then was to come up with this alphanumeric mile marker system, one that would benefit everyone on the trail, to improve the ability for hikers to communicate their locations and to also improve the ability for responders to get to those locations. The thing is, when I first started this research, I had just gone into GIS. And so this was, was my first real project after switching into the major. While I was excited for the opportunity, I was terrified that I would be underprepared. Everything was just so new to me and I didn't want to mess things up. But with a wonderful team, guidance from Accenture and LA County, I found myself learning something new every day. It was then that I started to really understand the true meaning of the power of where, the story of place. You see, emergency response is an inherently spatial task, and the more I spent working on this alphanumeric system, getting to know the software, the more I was able to explore different ways of visualizing the data in front of me. In the process, I was developing the spatial perspective necessary to navigate the world around me. So though this project was stressful at times, as all projects are, I had fun, lots of fun. And that was perhaps the most important part. This project allowed me to explore my desire to help others through the lens of spatial sciences. And it is this intersectionality between GIS and community that I wanna to continue to explore. In this sense, this project really was the start of it all. And I will be forever grateful to have had the chance to be involved. I can now confidently say because of this experience, I know more about GIS, about the professional world, and my future career. Oh, and just about every trail in LA County. Okay, great. Thank you, Alicia. So from this pilot project, the value delivered to LA County Parks and Recreation was that they got an enriched GIS data set with identified access points for responders a new analytical methodology for calculating pathways on existing and future data. And also, it allows for a new approach towards a faster response time for emergency services on hiking trails. 
From this project, we learned a lot in implementing a community impact GIS project, which we would like to share. First, GIS involvement can be done with limited resources. This was a pro bono project for the greater benefit of the LA County community. One of the concerns was the cost of the GIS software, but there are a lot of open software options available for people and idea to get started. Second, pre-project planning is important for success and it goes a long way. Even before the students were involved for their semester long pilot, months of upfront planning was done with the project leadership of USC, LA County and Accenture to set the direction of the project and to ensure that we're addressing a real need. And so the project greatly benefited from this. So we determined the scope and this helped to set the boundary so that way we don't get overwhelmed by the many, many possibilities that we can do. This also allows us to get started as soon as possible. Second, there are responsibilities what kind of support can or will be provided? Who can we reach out? And who is responsible for what? And third, determining expectations. What does success look like for this pilot project? And what can we learn from this? And the last lesson is that collaboration is key. This allows you to extend and share your expertise network. So when the students had a programming issue, we were able to pull an Accenture Python developer to meet with them. We also brought in an Accenture GIS industry leader to share the best practices with the students. Also, LA County Parks and Recreations were able to meet with the students to provide real world background context for the GIS data and to give feedback on the project. This brings up the second point where collaboration allows for faster feedback from outside channel. Oftentimes in industry, academia, and government, we don't hear feedback from each other until after the project is over. So by working together, a lot of real world context went into this project and a lot of new insights came out of it. This was the added value for the project and for everyone involved, including the students and the future generation of the GIS field. Thank you. All right, well, thank you for the presentation and you, you kept on time, so I didn't have to cut you off. <laughs> Very good. Um, so again, uh, if you have questions for the team, please put them in the Q&A window, but I, I saw one in the chat I'm gonna raise in the meantime, uh, which was uh, an, an, uh, more of a comment that it's really nice to hear about this project as it's illustrating why these partnerships and opportunities are so important. Um, and I'm just curious from whether it's the Accenture team or the, um, or the USC student, you know, how did you see the value of the partnership uh, in your own experience here? Yes, yeah, Steve, maybe I'll, I'll start with that one and the team can certainly chime into it. Um, you know, I, I couldn't agree more. Uh, everything that we do is a team sport now. It, it's too complicated, sophisticated for one team to solve alone, right? So if anyone's out there kind of listening, I, I would tell you it's a team sport. Collaboration, partnering with the right partners is absolutely critical to success. Um, I think there's an old proverb that says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Uh, and that's certainly true in, in this case, right? So we, we viewed it as, look, we, we're trying to make an impact to the citizens of SoCal. The best way for us to do that is to address a problem that SoCal faces. That's why we thought the partnership with LA County was such a critical one. Um, to really kind of hear directly from them of the challenges that they're trying to navigate, what's important to them, and what would make an impact to the citizens of LA County. And then from a USC perspective, we just thought that was a very natural fit given their focus on geospatial as part of their core curriculum and just fantastic young minds like Alicia and Tao to, to join our team and help us navigate through these solutions. Alicia, do you want to go ahead? Um, yes, I would just also agree that collaboration, I think, was essential to this project, especially coming from a student and speaking on the student experience in the sense that it was a learning process um, for us all, and especially in the sense that, you know, this is also new to me and I was learning along the way. And I think through the help and collaboration of those involved, like Accenture LA County, um, it effectively helped me, you know, get to those goals and as a project as a whole helped us, you know, get to where we wanted to go. Hey, thank you. Um, and we do have a question in the uh, the Q and A now. Um, and this is more speculative, probably on your part. But is there a way that you could find a caller through GPS on their cell phone to inform the nine one one system? Um, currently, we don't have that implemented with the system, but um, that would be probably with another system with the nine one one system. So they'll probably end up having the same problem that nine one one has today for when you call. 
through your cell phone, they don't know exactly where you are versus your landline. Um, and so that's where the mile markers are very important while you're on the hiking trail, unless you have like a GPS phone. A lot of people just have mile markers that they see on the trail. And so those mile markers are what's attached to the data set. And that will tell you the longitudinal and longitudinal coordinates that go into the system. Very good. And I think, you know, for the audience too, that's really, if you think, if you were here yesterday for the NG911 talk uh, that Rachel Marquez gave, um, that was part of the issue on this project as we worked with Accenture and USC is um, it's really difficult to geolocate cell phones accurately. Um, and, and again, they always want to ask, where are you is the first, is one of the first questions the, the dispatch would ask. Um, and in the case of street addresses, it's perhaps easier. You can look at, you, you know what street you're on, you may be able to see a number nearby on a building, but out on trails, that's very difficult. So that I think was a really important aspect of this project until we have a way to really geolocate phones accurately, um, having other ways to reference location out on trails. Um, we have another question here. Um, asking for students and recent graduates attending this GISA event, this is a good example of what to do to get involved as part of your pathway of using GIS technology. I guess it's more of a statement than a question, but uh, maybe yeah, I'll, uh, I'll add, go ahead. Well, why, don't I, why don't I add something here? I think too, the, the thing is, um, you know, we talk about public private partnerships, right? This exemplifies that. And I know Steve, you have experience in what you're doing and you're um, teaching your class and getting students to do some projects as well for that. And I know some county departments uh, either working with the CIO or ISD and public works have done some of these partnerships. I know my department has done a few regional planning. We've done a few and are looking to do more of those in the future. So hopefully there'll be these partnerships that are, whether they're through our, uh, our local universities or even remote universities, whatever it is on these projects, they can go forward with that. So we are looking for those. There, there were some barriers, I think, in the past and, and maybe because of you know remote learning and what we're kind of all stuck with right now, but maybe that'll help us here in the future um, expand some of these opportunities. Sure. Um, and here's a question uh, about how to do, get these things going. Is it easier for partners to initiate these student intern projects or is it easier for the departments to initiate them? Um, maybe, uh, you know, how did, how did Accenture and, and USC hook up on this initially to uh, get it going? Yeah, I would just say, you know, I think it, it can work both ways, um, Steve. We're, we're all kind of, I know LA County, USC, Accenture are all kind of dedicated to the mission of doing social good and using AI for good. Um, so I would say all, all, all avenues are available, right? Whoever's got the right idea for collaboration, I think should raise their hand and go for it, right? Like we're, we're all in that way. This particular program came out of a, a combination of it. Us, Accenture and USC have been partnering together on geospatial efforts for about three or four years now. So it's been a kind of a natural evolution of that relationship. And we really wanted to this year have a dedicated focus on making an impact in LA uh, and therefore, we got the LA County involved, and and all we're able to work on it together. But I would say the genesis of these programs can can really be from anywhere, um, as long as we've got the right objective and and kind of a collaborative push to make it happen. Yeah, thank you. And I would comment there too um, from the county side. I think that's really true. There's um, often I think it's easier for us just because we're sometimes a little heads down on our on all the things we're doing at the county. It's it's helpful when somebody at a university uh, and a private partner like this come and say, hey, do you have a project you need help with? Because we all have our nice to do list, you know, that we haven't gotten to or it hasn't been prioritized in our overall strategic plan. So I think it is useful if there's students out there, um, you know, sometimes reaching out, um, looking at our open data portal, reaching out to county departments that maybe you're interested in learning more about. Um, there are opportunities sometimes to build this into your curriculum. Um, it's, it does go both ways. Um, and maybe we have time for one last question here. I'm looking at the um, schedule. Um, has anyone in the Institute, so this may be a USC oriented question, if anyone knows, uh, worked on identifying wildfire evacuation routes. Um, and apparently uh, in Assembly Bill 747, jurisdictions are required to identify evacuation routes in their safety element updates. So I don't know if anyone's uh, at Accenture or USC knows. Uh, sounds like another project idea from one of our jurisdictions coming through though. 
Yeah, to my knowledge and understanding, I don't think that we really necessarily address um, any fire evacuation routes, but I definitely do see the perspective of a new project to be worked on, um, which is really exciting. <laughs> Yes, so um, I don't want to speak too much for USC, but I would say uh, if that question is is from a jurisdiction that's looking for help, uh, you might want to reach out to the USC Spatial Sciences program and see uh, if they may have in their next cohort students who would want to take that kind of a project on. Uh, certainly not limited to projects just with the county. I think they do projects with all kinds of outside partners, cities, nonprofits, uh, and so on. So certainly a great opportunity. And actually, I, I know the I saw the name that came up, so I do believe that is a really it's a jurisdiction. I know uh, who asked that question, and you can follow up because yesterday there was a talk about evacuation routes, and again something that the you know even the county office of emergency management has been working on working with fire and sheriff. So maybe that'll be addressed in some of their meetings that they're discussing. And, and I see our uh, our friend uh, from USC, Susan, just popped a, a comment in the Q&A saying, we'd be happy to continue the partnership with Accenture and the county. Um, and I, I presume that would extend to other jurisdictions as well um, at the city or local level. Um, so, so I think reach out. Um, and if you visit USC's uh, page in the exhibit hall, I believe the, there's some contact information how you can reach them. And obviously, um, as I put in the chat earlier, uh, Accenture also has an exhibit in the hall and we wanna thank them for being a sponsor.